We owe yet another big thank you to Metro Detroit for actually not just Metro Detroit. Somebody came from Ohio oh, today. Right. Uh, once again, helping us go for it. Our team has been at the Capuchin Soup Kitchen all day, collecting your donations of new towels, blankets, and socks. And that's where our Shante Passmore is right now. Shante, how will all of these donations help? <laughs> Oh, and just a bit, we'll explain of that, all of that, of course. But as you mentioned earlier, turnout has just been so amazing. But of course, it is not over. If you can't make it out to Capuchin Ser Services Center, we've got you covered with that QR code on your screen there. Of course, we are collecting new blankets. We are collecting new socks and towels. And meanwhile, Kim DiGiulio captures the generosity of our viewers in this next piece. It has been remarkable to see car after car after car pull up here to the Capuchin Services Center. And while we've been collecting these donations all day long here on Detroit's east side, well, the donations, they've come from all over. We're from Ohio. Oh, my oh, stop it. Are you kidding me? For weeks, we've been telling you about our Go For It Wrapped in Warmth event at the Capuchin Services Center. So it's no surprise that even before the event started, online donations were rolling in. And I saw the scan and everything, what you can scan there for the people who couldn't make it. So hopefully a lot of our brothers and friends and family are going to come and do that. Also. Well, the Capuchin Services Center offers things like clothing, groceries, and a hot meal. Today, the focus was warmth. Oh, thank you very much. The softest blankets, warm, thick towels, and those good winter socks continued to fill these boxes. And while these blankets will make someone warm this winter, the real story is you, the viewer, lining up here and allowing us to hear a little bit of your story. For Jason Lager, his donation was a full circle moment. I've gone through some rough times in my life, so um, I just felt like it was the right thing to do. So been wanting to do it for a long time. Jason told me luckily for him when he fell upon hard times his family was able to help him. A lot of these people don't have that so that's why they're on the streets but so that's how I feel that doing what I did today was a good thing. And times only get tougher when the weather changes which is why each new blanket, towel and pair of socks that was donated today will make a big difference in someone's life. And there's still time to donate in person. We're going to be collecting these items until 6 p.m. So come on by if you have the time. We'd love to see you. We're here at the Capuchin Services Center on Detroit's east side. I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. All right, and back out here live again this evening. We put out the call, and Metro Detroit, you answered. Look at some of the numbers there on your screen. We're talking about monetary donations, more than $7,000. drive through cash donations, $280. Gift card donation from Meyer, $2,000. Online wish list donations, we're talking about over 700. Purchase items for Target, for Amazon, more than 1,800. As for in-person donations, more than 700 items. You guys, it has been so amazing to see the turnout and the story stories, as you just heard in Kim's piece, I think it really highlights how helping others' kindness really has no limitations, even if you're driving, willing to drive more than four hours from a completely different state to be here. If you can't make it out here, we're here till 6, again, at 6333 Medbury Street, right by I-94 and Mount Elliott. But if you can't make it out here, that's okay. You can stay at home. You can continue to make dinner. You can sit on your couch. All you got to do is hit that QR code and your generosity. I always say it's our privilege. You'll be blessing so many people in our community. Reporting live in Detroit tonight, Shante Passmore, Local 4. I love it, Shante. Yeah, what a day. Really nice to see. We yeah, had such a, a good time event. there. Yep.